Having an investment strategy is key to making sure you can get the most out of every pound you have. Before we get into the main chunk of the video, I just want to say I am not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only. It is your choice whether you want to listen to me or not. All I'm doing is showing what I am currently doing and my current plan. It is 100% down to you whether you decide to copy me or not. So, personal finance includes everything from expenses, income, all the way to paying off bad debt and the investment choices you make. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my own personal finance goals and showing you how you can create your own through copying my own template. I will also be sharing my thoughts and tasks that I'm going to be doing to achieving my financial goals within the next 20 years and back. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you do, hit the subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below uh, what your thoughts are in the comment series and where you want it to sit, where you want it to go in the future. So this is going to be split up into two sections. The first section is me going to be giving you a task and the second section is going to be me showing my own personal goals and how I'm going to be achieving them. So the, the task that I want you to be doing for today is to write out all of your financial goals for the next 20 years. Now, that might seem like a lot. It's really not. Um, all it is is probably five or six aspects to your finances um, that I want you to be writing goals down for. Now, I don't need to be writing down um, all of your financial goals for the next however long. I just want you to write down what you want to achieve by 20 year mark. Have a look at your finances and basically just say, what would I want to achieve within the next 20 years? Don't think about how you're actually going to achieve it yet. All you're doing is writing down these goals that you want to achieve. Don't start thinking about the steps that you're going to need or don't start saying, I can't do this because it's not realistic, okay? Big, big difference in terms of setting goals is one, can you achieve it? And one, do you want it? Now, right now, we're not in the how you're going to achieve it part, we're in the are you going to actually want it part. So just focus on this first, we'll get onto this later. Now, there's a few areas that I would want you to focus on, and these are as follows. Your total investments, so how much do you actually have in your investment pot? Uh, your, how much debt have you paid off if you have debt? Any cash flowing pro properties, for example, emergency fund um, that you can grab if you know something, something goes wrong. Uh, expenses versus income. Uh, extra money that you would like to use for material purchases. There's lots that you can go into, but you know, they're just a broad range of things that you can focus on. And that's what I've done myself. Obviously, looking 20 years in the future, it's a long, long way. So you don't want to be going into too much detail because it, things change, right? Your, your, perspective on, your perspective on life changes. And you don't want to be saying, I want £12.75, blah, 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 blah. To, that was a very weird example, but you get what I'm trying to say. Don't go into the actual specifics of the uh, of the goals. Keep it kind of broad. Um, I'll give you an example for one of mine in a second, but um, yeah, keep it kind of broad, but also detailed. That probably doesn't make much sense. So let's get into my personal goals. So for my personal goals, I have four main aspects. I want to own five cash flow positive rental properties. I want to have 20,000 in an emergency fund. I want to have 2 million or more invested in the S&P 500. And I want to have all of my bad debt paid off. And the reason I've put bad debt and not just debt is because I don't want any of the bad debt. I want a lot of good debt. Now, obviously, if you don't understand that, then a good way to learn about that is to watch Robert Kiyosaki. He talks about this quite a lot pretty much all he ever talks about. If you want to learn more about that kind of stuff, then head over to that um, resource. He's got loads of different stuff. Um, and yeah, you can watch some of the videos, read his book, all that kind of stuff. So those are my main goals that I want to have in 20 years. Now, obviously, seeing 20 years into the future is impossible. You can't do it. But this is where I would want to be in 20 years at a minimum. And um, I know that so when I was actually creating these goals, uh, I wasn't thinking about how I was actually going to do this. I was just thinking, what would I want to have in 20 years to be able to live a life that I want? And this is it. So in terms of finances, I think I can do better. 
But in terms of a lifestyle that I want, this is what I would need. I don't need more than this. This is just what I would need. And this is very, very key for goal setting and I guess just life in general, right? Don't compare yourself to someone else and don't say, you know, I need to have the mansion, I need to have the Lambo, I need to have 15 girlfriends, I need to have this, I need to have this, Rolex, blah, 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 blah. Think about you, what you actually want and then go into your finances and say, how much money would I need to achieve this? And do it that way instead of saying, you know, I want to be a billionaire or I want to have 500 million in the bank but no real reason to why, right? Think about the life that you want first and then relate the finances to that afterwards. So what I have done is I've done that, okay? I've, I've said I want these properties because that's gonna enable me to put money into things so that I don't have to have a job, I don't have to work, and I can basically do whatever I want. Um, the, the 2 million in the S&P is because I believe in the S&P 500. Warren Buffett talks about this a lot in terms of uh, the S&P 500 and the benefits of that. Um, so, you know, if you're if you're wanting two aspects, real estate and stocks, or well, real estate and um, ETFs. Now, for me, they're perfect things. Now for you, it might be something else, right? It might be I want to own a company and to do that, I might need investment, I might need this, I might need that. And work that out, right? Don't just say, a random figure because that's what you feel society needs you to have relate it to your other goals that you've done and figure out it that way okay now we'll, we'll be getting into the other three aspects after the finances um, but essentially think about what you want and relate the finances to that not the other way around so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful uh, in the next episode we're going to be doing material purchases and the material purchases that I personally want. Now, I will admit these change quite often, um, but you know, right now, this is what I would want. So we'll be getting into that soon. I hope that you like the car of my choice. Before that episode comes out, if you're watching this video before tomorrow uh, or 5 p.m. UK time the next day, let me know down in the comments below which car you think I would want and then which car you would want. I wanna see what you think uh, kind of would fit me and if it's the same one that I've chosen so let me know down in the comments below um, also a little bit of a side note for anyone that's watching right now you've watched the whole video which is a lot more than the most people do so thank you very much for doing that I'm glad that you're finding value in the video I'm actually going to be starting a new private discord group and this is going to be a discord group that I want to keep quite exclusive and quite personal um, and it's going to be something that is not just trading it's going to be everything so i'll be sharing videos of you know educational content in terms of business entrepreneurship routines nutrition fitness trading as well everything um i'm going to be sharing my own s p 500 trades so as i mentioned in today's video i want to be reaching 2 million invested in the s p i'm not going to get there without trading so I'll be sharing my trades and showing the journey that I'm going along with in you know my actual account my live account and sharing the numbers sharing the trades everything um, and yeah sharing my own journey to the goals that I share in this series so if you're wanting to follow along with that journey make sure to hit the join button down below it's just next to the subscribe button and once you join that uh, drop me a message on discord and I will get you into that private community this is a brand new community literally no one's joined yet it's completely brand new so yeah if you want to be the first ones to get in there let me know and um yeah have an amazing day thank you very much for watching till the end of the video and i will see you in the next one